Ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you has never been witnessed by mortal eyes. The Teardown Creative Mode is out. I didn't even know they were working on this. I didn't even know this was coming. But Teardown now has a creative mode, which allows us to build objects in game instead of using a third party software like we used to do. Now, if we're in a normal map, we can hit escape and down at the bottom right, there's now a new option called Creative Mode. Applying this will now give us the ability to draw. Ooh, little piece of turd that I just created. <laughs> we can draw in 3D space. We can either, we can do line. Line is pretty cool. Extrude. What does extrude do? Oh, I see. Oh, very nice. What does the shape do? I can pick it up. This doesn't shape. How do we change the paint color? Left mouse button is the paint. Space bar is the palette. Yo, -ho! whoa, oh, I see. Okay, wood, plastic, masonry, dirt. Painting dirt. See that? We're painting now instead of adding to. This is so cool. I'm gonna make the world's biggest tree. It's gonna be so fancy. So, so fancy. Man, that is law. You can really go crazy with this. Add. Oh, that's a little laggy. Maybe I made this part a little bit too big. Add to it. More addition. Now, can I pick it up? I can pick it up. That's so laggy. So <laughs> they gotta work on that. The big part's real laggy. Let's see if we can't make something, right? Let's make like a guy. The only thing I wish I had is a duplicate tool of some sort. I guess I'll just have to make do with what I have. We will extrude the shoe. Oh, this is, this is incredible. This is going to be the most magnificent man you've ever seen. Give him a little arm here. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is working out great so far. All right, well, he's not looking too great yet, but if we give him some sort of face color, maybe he'll look a little bit better than that, you know? We give him like a nice, nice blue shirt, just like Minecraft Steve, my favorite character from Super Smash Brothers. I'm feeling more creative than ever. As long as we don't look at the back of him, it should be completely fine. It's perfect. I just need to uh, maybe give him some eyeballs. Give him one eye there, one eye there. Extra long eyes. Give him a mouth. Look at this guy. I'm so creative. Is there a way to save my creation? I don't want to just destroy him. I mean, I do want to destroy him, but I want to be able to respawn this beautiful piece of art. I mean, look at this arm. Look at that arm. They're not even the same. It's beautiful. Oh wait, I can. Look at, there's a button down bottom right. Control S. I want to make this spawnable Jeff. Can I like spawn him somehow now? If I type it in here, spawnable Jeff. <gasps> wait, wait, it's here. Where, what section is it? Oh, it's in the creative mode section. Yes, he doesn't look the same. Why does he look different? <laughs> what the, he looks so much dirtier. My original build, so much more disgusting looking. Okay, I think this gives us ample time to blow up the original. I'll never see him this dirty again. All my hard work. I'll take my anger out on other Jeff. I don't know if this is necessarily better than our previous way of developing objects in the game. However, I do think it'll make it a lot more accessible, which is really cool. People that really never bothered to download the third party software can now just build whatever they want and they can save it. How incredible. I know everybody is just so happy about Jeff. Everyone's just so excited about Jeff. Oh, I forgot to color the back of his head. It's all right. One at a time. One at a time. Well, that was satisfying. What should we build next? Oh, we can even change the brush size as well. I'm gonna make a very silly looking guy with these amazing tools. Oh God, this is not looking good. I'm already not really that happy with this build. We're gonna try our best though. We're gonna make a creepy pasta stick figure. Oh, it's gonna be so scary. I don't think you guys are ready for this. <laughs> I'm about to add my favorite feature. Oh yes, oh yes. This is looking fantastical. <laughs> He's standing in such a weird way. All right, I take the shape. He doesn't even stand up on his own. No. <laughs> Somehow he's front heavy. I don't know how that's possible with all this weight in the back. Dislike this creation. Oh no, I put him underground by mistake. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted, you know? What the heck? Where did that meteor come from? I must have misclicked him with the meteor tool. <laughs> I didn't even know what was happening. I just heard a loud noise. We gonna make something out of it. Where is this? Where does this keep coming from? 
Ah! Oh, that was the last tool that I used. Oh, that's not okay. I found a bug. If you try to do something with a weapon in your hand, it'll use the weapon instead. I guess only if it's the meteor tool, actually. <laughs> Is there a limit to how high I can I can build something? Oh man, I don't think so. It just gets it just gets exponentially more laggy the the bigger you make it. Oh my god. Oh, it's so laggy. Made entirely out of wood. The leaning tower of wood. Structural test. No. No, my tower. Hey. Here we go. Send her to the moon. Okay, that didn't work out. We're sending her to the moon though. Don't you don't you worry about a thing. The heck? Is my rocket on fire? How did that happen? We're not taking no for an answer, you hear me? <laughs> Alright, that should be enough fuel. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I thought I was making a straight line. Oops. This is not gonna work very well. My completely straight rocket. The rocket that I have just created. It's aerodynamic in every way. We're gonna make this baby fly. We're gonna make her fly. And uh, anyone who disagrees with me is wrong. And you can tell me how wrong you are in the comments. Now, if that doesn't look like a good thruster, I don't know what does. Genuinely don't know. Don't know what a good thruster looks like. Here we go. How did that work so well? <laughs> Finally, the developers of this game added something that isn't a speedrun minigame. Thank God. You know what that makes me? That makes me happy. Look at how happy he is. Yay. Oh yeah, we're making, we're making an entire map one layer at a time, exactly like this. Oh yeah, that looks like some terrain. That looks ultra natural. Oh, if you hold shift, you can remove. You can actually carve things out. That's incredible. You can remove and add. Insanity. Okay, I've created this absolutely amazing self-portrait. Can it stand up on its own? That's really all I want to know. I think it can. I'm not going to let this game tell me what to do. I'm pretty sure it can stand up on its own. Here we go. Hold on. I don't need this game to tell me that it can stand up. Boom! So epic. So freaking epic, dog. I'd be so sad if anything happened to this. I love this. Almost done, and make sure you sub to Andy. <laughs> this looks so bad. It's so hard to draw. All right, don't don't get mad at me. All right, get mad at yourself. You don't know how difficult it is to drive. I mean, um, <laughs> draw. Oh, subscribe to Andy. <laughs> Did you subscribe yet? I'll do it again. Hey, you don't believe me? I'll do it again. Hey, give me one more chance. I'm going to make the longest line. It will be the longest and most epic object ever. Most laggiest object. Why do you have to loop through a list every time I place one part? It's clearly a memory leak. Don't do that. Oh, we're at two FPS. Okay, the longest object ever in Teardown has been created. I know, you don't need to thank me or anything. I gift this beautiful piece of art to the world. Very slowly, it will approach the world. Man, that thing is sturdy. It only broke in one spot. Dang, man. That's crazy. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go over the new update to Teardown. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely go check it out. I will see you in the next one. Later. Later.